What's up everyone, welcome to Akuma's Arsenal, and today we're going to be talking about something super duper, duper serious. Super serious. We're going to be talking about what's wrong with luxury watch marketing. We're going to be talking about that. First of all, we all know that luxury watch uh, advertising and marketing is hella archaic. It's so... And the thing is, it's not even, it's not archaic and because like, oh, it's like old school and this or that or this or that. Basically what they're doing is they're following like marketing techniques from like the 1970s. Like, but in the 1970s, those, those marketing tactics were like, oh, this is kind of interesting. Oh, that's cool. They've partnered with this and did that. Um, I mean, a full example, um, in the, like for example, I mean, this is more uh, 50s or late, this is late 50s. Um, Rolex uh, giving the explorer to the adventurer, I forgot his name, uh, who climbed uh, the first person who reached the tip, top, tippy top of Mount Everest, right? Like, that's, a, that's amazing, an amazing accomplishment, and that solidified the Rolex explorer's name. However, is that effective marketing now? To some degree, it is. You know, it's, it's if Elon Musk's launches, this is, I mean, see, that's the old example, here's a new example. Uh, Elon Musk, right? You know, he has SpaceX and launching all these rockets and trying to get astronauts uh, to uh, the space station. Why not partner with, with Elon, I, I don't know, not Elon Musk, whoever SpaceX is marketing, whatever, who it is, say, hey, look, we'll give you XYZ, um, you, you have one of your astronauts uh, wear this on your wrist, make sure, they have to make sure it passes all these specifications. Why not, instead of just relying on, uh, like, the, Let's say Omega. Like, what if Omega had another wristwatch that they that they made, whether it was quartz or mechanical, or whatever. But it made it made the specifications for SpaceX to to get to to be verified um, to get on a SpaceX flight to whatever important mission. How cool would that be? How interesting would that be? You know, at, there's this kid that I, I I went to. So before I dropped out of high school, right? There was this kid. You know, I, I was I was a junior in like sophomore grade math because I, I failed like the past two years of math class. And there was this freshman in my class, and this guy, this kid was a smart kid, and um, he's very engineering focused. And I recently just had my engineering uh, assistant job, so I felt all like cool, like oh yeah, uh, I, I'm in a fucking sorry for swearing. I'm in a crappy math class, but I, I just went through like three months of engineering. But hey, who cares, you know? But there's this kid. And he loved Elon Musk. He loved Elon Musk to the max. All he ever talked about was SpaceX, freaking Tesla, and he talked about all the Tesla model cars and stuff like that. Um, if you partnered, if if let's just pick a, let's say go partnered with uh, SpaceX on a on a mission to create a wristwatch for it, or they gave them a watch that they already had, that kid would know about it. He would think to himself, Wow. That company Seiko is so cool. They partnered with Elon Musk and made a wristwatch that is up with up to his standards, right? Look at Squala, right? Look what uh, TGV has brought to Squala. TGV has brought hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of thousands and thousands, maybe even tens of thousands of customers to Squala's way. How? By being an influencer, I know this is really basic stuff, this is called influencer marketing. You find the influencer and you market through them, right? And uh, I'm, I'm, I forgot, Jean Jar, whatever his name is, I remember Christian was talking about this one time. Uh, this sounds, honestly, this is turning out like a rant TNH episode, but anyway, uh, he partnered with some artist, I, never, I don't know who the artist is, but I'm just, I'm just saying, why not aim bigger? Why not aim grander? Why not, you know, if you're, if you're brigade, why? Okay, let, okay. Let's let's talk about Cartier, right? Cartier Tank. I watch this uh, YouTube channel. It's called the Great War Channel, and all they do is just talk about all the just events, the processes, the technologies being developed, and the the way World War One was playing out, right? The Cartier Tank. What is it named after? The Ren. I'm not. Excuse me for my pronunciation. Pronunciation. The Renault Tank. Why doesn't Cartier sponsor an episode with the Great War and talk about the Cartier tank and how its designs are re related to like the Renault tank or something? Why not? You know, all of these Swiss watch brands or German brands or Japanese brands that are old and have hella years of, of uh, history, why are they not partnering with, with these YouTube channels, these social media sites that all they do is talk about history? 
Why not? You, if, if I was looking in a, and if I was watching this and I saw a, a Cartier thing, I'd be like, wow, that's that's really cool, you know. Um, why why doesn't the inventor of the chronograph talk about this or that or why doesn't Breguet sponsor like not sponsor but yes yeah, sponsor like uh, some history channel youtuber um, like uh, Napoleon or something like okay so there's a YouTube channel called uh, what is his name it's like an alternate history hub right what if what if Breguet you know because Napoleon had a Breguet wristwatch what if uh, Breguet partners with alternate history hub and says all right what if, what if, um, what if Napoleon didn't have a Breguet wristwatch when he went to Egypt? What would have happened? Just be creative. You know, there's so many opportunities here for you guys to market. You know, why are you, I mean, cool. Put your stuff in, in the Wall Street Journal. Oh my God, PewDiePie. Oh man, anyway. Um, put your stuff in the Wall Street Journal. Put your stuff in the New York Times. Cool. But... That is, is honestly going to be more expensive than partnering with a YouTuber who has millions of, of subscribers or followers. Um, I'm not exactly for sure. YouTube's my game, right? I love YouTube. It's one of my favorite social media marketing sites. Marketing sites are all about marketing sites. It's just one of my favorite things on the internet, YouTube. And there's so much opportunity for these Swiss watch brands to engage in this new uh, platform. Um, why they aren't? I'm sure they are in some ways, you know, I'm, I'm even to this day, I'm surprised that more brands are not directly sponsoring TGV. You know, TGV had, not that had to, but he, he chose to do a glasses, I got new glasses, um, uh, sponsorship, right? And a lot of people got worked up about it. Would, it, would anyone get worked up if a, if, a, if a brand sponsored one of TGV's videos? Hell no, they would not. And the reason why TGV has to get sponsors like that is because these Swiss watch brands have no idea what the opportunity that they're missing. This guy, I kid you not, his brand is amazing. The Urban Gentry. That, it's amazing. His, his videos are quality, superb. Uh, he's got that charming British accent. He's a charming guy. He's got great life experiences. This dude might as well just, he might as well be James Bond, shoot. And, I'm, and I don't mean, I just mean that in like a marketing sense. Omega partners with uh, James Bond to do this, right? Or the Mega Speedmaster 300, and they have marketed and, and uh, boom, they have, now they have a watch that's super duper 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 um, popular. But what if, like, like, like for example, I brought up the example of your Squale, right? Squale, TGVS drove tons, tons and tons of traffic to Squale, what? But okay, let's let's look at a, a, a lesser known uh, luxury brand. I don't even know, because uh, I don't in my head I don't really think of very many brands as unknown. If I don't know them, it's kind of like an unknown unknown. But anyway, I'm not Donald Rumsfeld. Um, why I'm why not partner with TGV? You know why not? partner with uh, the Great War Channel? Why not partner with Alternate History Hub? Why not partner with Elon Musk and SpaceX? You know, there's a wealth of opportunity for these brands, these luxury Swiss brands, these luxury German brands, these Japanese brands, um, any really like kind of core brand, watch brand. There's so much opportunity for them. Why are they not capitalizing on these amazing marketing opportunities? Why not associate your brand with the the that spirit, the entrepreneurial spirit, the admiration of of SpaceX? Why not partner your brand with just a hit, a, a YouTube channel dedicated to to informing the world about one of the largest world wars, the, the first world war, the most crazy world war in history the one that changed our perceptions about our modern society why are you not partnering with people who are giving so much value to the consumer if you partner with these people not only will it strengthen your brand it will be cheaper than conventional advertising it will market yourself to a whole new audience who is clueless about your 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 company and fourth it's innovative it's interesting and what does that mean it means profit 
right? What do you guys, what does is, what is the Swiss watch industry want? Profit. But profit in a way that shows your excellence as a company. That's all I gotta say. Uh, thank you very, very much for watching the video and uh, Kumail.